Okay, and welcome back. So this is a 3D kinematics problem. Uh, there's three parts of this problem, but this is really easy. All we have to do is differentiate. Basically, we have to determine the particle's velocity and acceleration as a function of time. So that just means, I think it's efficient enough to say, you just have to differentiate this. This is the displacement in the x direction. This is the displacement of the particle in the y direction. And this is the displacement of the particle in the z direction. So, like I said, it's sufficient enough to say you just differentiate this whole part right here, this part here, and this part here. And so, I'll just do this by definition. So this would be r of t. Okay, I'm differentiating the vector right here. And with respect to time, excuse my arrow, it's just more comfortable for me to write it like that. I'm going to do this by definition, okay? So technically, this is what you're actually doing. You are differentiating this. 9.60t i hat plus d dt of 3.10j hat minus d dt of 1.00t squared k hat okay so this is simple this ddt of of r of t just becomes v of t simple right and then the derivative of 9.6t is just 9.60 i hat right plus ddt of this constant here that's just going to give you zero j hat and then minus ddt of 1t squared is just going to be 2t k hat. Simple, right? And then the acceleration, we're not going to go through the whole thing. Just differentiate this part right here, right? And so this, this basically is the velocity in the, in the x direction, velocity in the y direction, velocity in the z direction. Okay, so i hat, j hat, k hat. So if you differentiate this as a whole, okay, then you're going to get a zero, i hat, and then the derivative of zero is just zero, j hat, and the derivative of this right here, negative two t, is just going to give you a negative two k hat, right? And then that's it. Uh, one thing to note, well, I guess really, if you write this in this notation here, this usually is what you're going to see. That's you, this is what's common, okay? Now, you'll see in some of the videos that I do, I use some notation that looks like, like this. Like, I'll write this right here. Only when I'm doing the math part, I'll write it this way. I'll write it as a column vector. So the velocity would look something like this. 9.600, and this would be uh, 2t, right? And then the acceleration, well, this would be my velocity vector, my acceleration would just be zero, zero, negative two. Okay, this is just notation. Don't get scared of it. It's something you'll see later on anyway, or if you haven't seen it already. Uh, it's just notation, that's basically it. Uh, with that said, I guess we're done with this one. Let's move on to the next problem. And if this is all you needed, well, good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.